everyone, I'm Rod Wortham and welcome back to this edition of Race Face Driver Updates. Let's start in the great state of Oklahoma where Jesse Love was racing his Keith Coons Motorsports number 97 midget at I-44 Riverside Speedway and Port City Raceway. At I-44, Jesse had an unfortunate wreck in his heat, forcing him to race up through the C main, but missing the B main. At Ford City, he grabbed fifth place in his heat, which put him in the B main, where he finished eighth, just missing the transfer to the A main. Caden Honeycutt was playing in the dirt over the weekend in two different cars. On Friday, he raced at Boyd Raceway in the number 72, driving for Jay Coon Motorsports. He started first in his heat and dropped back to finish second. That put him third for the A main, where he raced a tough and bumpy track, which provided very little passing opportunity to finish in third. On Saturday, Caden raced the Red Rocket, his number 37 reality roofing modified at Heart of Texas Speedway, where he took the checkers in the feature race and picked up a $2,000 check on his way. Joey East, Cassidy Hines, and Jake Bowman all raced for Nate Clower Motorsports over the weekend in the Pro Late Model Division at Stockton 99 Speedway. Jake drove his number 71 late model to a 13th place finish in the feature event. He also pulled double duty and raced his legend car early in the day and finished with an 18th place in the feature. Cassidy Hines was making her late model debut, but in a pro late model instead of a junior late model as originally planned. Cassidy qualified 15th in her number 88 Frontier Roofing Friends of Jacqueline Chevrolet and had started to pass cars moving mid-pack before getting drilled in the back end by another competitor after she avoided a wreck in front of her. The contact was so hard it pushed her car on top of the retaining wall and ended her day being scored in the 20th position. Joey East was fast right out of the hauler in his number 88 Ag Center 59 Richwood Meet Chevrolet, posting quick time in practice, then backing that up with fast time in qualifying. Joey had to start 10th with the invert, but started picking up cars from the drop of the green flag. Joey took the lead on lap 45 and never looked back holding off SRL champions Jeremy Doss and Cole Moore after several late race restarts due to cautions. This kid is the real deal. Grant Thompson took the trip to Chris Motorsports Park in Cordell, Georgia, looking for his first win at the 3 8 mile track and his fourth start with Kurt Britt Motorsports in the pro truck. Grant qualified on the pole and led every lap en route to his second victory of the year. In four starts, he has two wins, a second, and a third. Grant's next race will be this Friday, June 5th, as he makes his pro late model debut with Grand American Race Cars and Augie Grill in the legendary number 112 late model. Haley Constance was back at Deming Raceway to run in the 600 micro sprint division. She qualified third out of 24 cars, which gave her a great starting position for her heat race, where she was able to finish fourth. In the A main, Haley drove a great race, notching another top five finish with a fifth place. She also had a successful day of testing in her junior late model at Wenatchee Valley Super Oval earlier in the week. Brody Moore raced at action karting over the weekend in his PKS engine's number 39 kart. It was an eventful day with Brody getting into some trouble in his heat race and again in the feature, but he persevered and worked his way back to a sixth place finish in the feature. Gavin Graham took his pro truck to Auburndale Speedway where he started third in the feature event. He worked his way into second when rain stopped the race after 11 laps. Once the rain had passed, he restarted second and fell back to fourth when he got into a wet spot on the track and spun, sending him to the tail end of the field for the restart. But he fought his way back to a sixth place finish. Gavin will be back in the pro truck this weekend at Showtime Speedway in St. Pete, Florida. That's it for this week's Action Pack Race Face Driver Updates. And remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up 
at Raceface.tv on demand. Don't miss Raceface Spotlight on Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. This week featuring Florida's legend and pro truck driver, Gavin Graham. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. Don't forget to follow us on social media. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite race face drivers. So go out there, have a great race week. I'm Rod Wortham, thanks for watching.